Hi, it's Deb again, and I'm working on a new painting to go along with my fruit series called Plums. Now, this particular painting is done, uh, again, in the same kind of paper as I did the uh, other projects. It's the Strathmore Visual Journal Cold Press Watercolor Paper. Uh, it's a perfect size for these kinds of exercises. Uh, it's a spiral-bound book. It's sort of a small size that you can do lots of practice things in, and I find it absolutely wonderful for just refining my skills and continuing to build my knowledge of watercolor technique. Uh, you can see that I'm putting down color on the page and I'm going to be building up tonal values at the base of each of the plums. <clears throat> right now there's only two there, but there will be a third one coming. And I also will be blotting off some of the paint, as you can see here, just to uh, provide a highlighted area. A little pointer when you're using paper towel to blot areas on a wet painting, be careful that you don't leave an impression from any of the texture on the paper towel. That can happen and sometimes you might not notice it until your painting is finished. Uh, and so I try to keep that in mind. Uh, some people will use a, a Kleenex or a piece of tissue that doesn't have any texture on it. It seems to me though that you could uh, employ or use the textured paper towel in some way to leave certain strategic marks on the page that might be useful to give depth and texture, depending on what you're painting. So you can see that I'm continuing to add the depth to the base of the uh, plums and uh, shadowed areas to indicate that they are sitting on a flat surface. Uh, also, uh, similar to the pear picture, I'm painting this picture out of my head. I don't have a reference photo or a you know cluster of three plums sitting in front of me. This is just for fun and just for practice. I'm using a round watercolor brush with a fairly fine point on the end that allows me to dab in color. And I, I use it, you'll see, to not only apply the color, but also sometimes I'll dab the brush off so it's drier and create what's called a thirsty paintbrush. And a thirsty brush can be used to pick up uh, some uh, wet paint that may be on the page, again, for use in creating texture and highlighted areas. Uh, in a watercolor painting. So you can see I used the end of the brush there to create that lighter spot on the darker green plum. And now I'm crafting the uh, title of the page, which you'll see will be Plum. But in the final version, I decided to add an S that unfortunately I didn't capture on the video. So at the very end of this uh, video presentation, you will see the final picture with the addition of an S on the end for plums in plural. So similar to the technique I used with the pear video, I will be highlighting areas of this picture with a white gel pen. You're going to see that shortly. And in order to apply the gel pen, I uh, took a moment to uh, dry the page with uh, the help of a hair dryer in order to be able to uh, easily apply the pen to the page. Now sometimes that gel pen can be a little tricky and I have to be mindful that I don't rub my hand across the page with that wet gel pen ink uh, and smear it. So just a cautionary note there. Uh, and again, I'm just doing this freehand. It's just for fun and to add some uh, definition uh, to the letters and the shapes on the page. I'll be uh, outlining the plums here in just a moment. So here's the final picture. I appreciate you watching the video and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching.